What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm using a Weezing Slay King team in Regulation H. It's about time. Anyway, this team was made by Moxie Boosted, and it's a really powerful team. Weezing with Neutralizing Gas turns off abilities, so you have to have stuff that doesn't really rely on their abilities. Except for you get one ability shield, which is on this Intimidate Tauros. That's a cool combo, because when you're turning off abilities, stuff like Defiant or Inner Focus won't trigger, but your Intimidate still will because of the ability shield, so you can Intimidate like King Gambits. Uh, but mostly, Weezing is here to turn off Truant, so Slay King can attack every turn. We also have a Choice Specs Golden Go, which is great. I mean, he likes his ability, but it being turned off doesn't really affect his offense. Dragapult is the same way, Clear Body's nice, but if Intimidate from the opponent is turned off, then it doesn't matter too much. And then Talonflame does use its ability, but usually you're going to pair Talonflame with like Dragapult or Golden Go, and you can even go like Talonflame Slay King turn 1, because Slay King isn't Truant until the second turn. Uh, but anyways, it looks like a fun team. I'm ready to play it. Alright, we've got, ooh, Gardevoir and Gallade. That's cool. Rillaboom, Sneasler, Pelipper, Archaladon. Not sure what Gardevoir plus Gallade do, but turning off the terrain and the weather right away seems nice. Now they're going to be like, oh, Weezing's coming, and so bring one of the Psychic types, or Archaladon with Flash Cannon. Chaladon with Flash Cannon. Kinda like my bull. Intimidate the Rillaboom, Sneasler. Hit the Archaladon really hard, maybe, with Terra Fighting. Since we have Ability Shield, we can Intimidate. Bring Slay King in the back, maybe. I don't, I don't think Slay King's bad here. They do have two Fighting types. Okay, maybe it's not the best here. But I want to bring it, because it's, it's fun. Uh, and then it's got to be Golden Go. Eh, but Dragapult's fine too. It's either Gold Golden Go or Dragapult. I want one of my ghosts for the Sneasler. We have Phantom Force. You turn. Dra oh, we're Terra Dragon Dragon Darts. That's kind of bad into Gardevoir. So I think Golden Go is a little bit better here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Golden Go. Gardevoir scares me a little bit more since it can hit my Tauros, it can hit my Weezing, they don't have a trainer card, you know, things like that. We've got Sneasler Gardevoir, okay. Intimidate on your Sneasler turn one is great. Let's see if you're a White Herb. I assume you're a Grassy Seed. But with Weezing on the field, you're not going to be able to get Grass put up. Tauros is threatened. Weezing is a little threatened. Just by the Gardevoir. I don't really care about these guys having their abilities. Um, I could just protect Pivot in Golden Go. Golden Go seem would be, would be in a really great position here. Could protect either one of these and bring in Gold and Go, actually. But I think I want to keep Weezing on the field. Yeah. That way, if they try to bring in Rillaboom or Pelipper, they can't get terrain or weather set up. Like, maybe the Weezing Protect is obvious. Fake out. Okay, they were gonna fake out the bull and then Psy Shock something? Into Weezing. Cool. I'm gonna make it rain now. Be ready. Do I tear the Weezing? Just to not get Psy shocked as hard. I think that's fine. And I'm gonna strange steam something. I feel like something's gonna swap here. 
strange steaming toward the Sneasler. Our Chaladon came in. Okay. And then it looks like my Terra, but not theirs. Uh, they could protect Sneasler. That wouldn't be a bad play. They're not going to get stamina, because Weezing's on the field. Unless they just close combat by Weezing here. Like, great call if you do. Sure. Torch up into gold and go, we'll take that, you're intimidated. That's not so bad. Bye, Sneasler. And then you not getting stamina is great, because I'm going to hit you another time. And that did look like Assault Vest damage onto the Arch. Yeah, they're not taking any damage. No confusion? Come on. Come on! I know you got Pelipper somewhere. Bring him out. Nope, there's Gardevoir again. Uh, I think Willow into Arch could be a good play here. They're not going to be Power Herb, they're not going to be able to get that off. Gardevoir gets what? Mystical Fire? I don't think Weezing's going to go down to something like that. I want to do Willow on Arch. But Make It Rain is bait. Gardevoir's bait, for sure. I'm going to bring in Slay King here. The Gardevoir is going to like Terra Fire or something. Because they know I can just click Make It Rain. Or it's going to protect, maybe. Whatever Terra you have, I'm sure Slay King can hit it. With high horsepower. Yep. Terra Fire. Cool. That means my bull can also hit you pretty good. And right into that slot. Perf Ooh, that does almost half to Slay King. Girl, you are too strong. And Willow Miss! Well, at least it wasn't something important, like... having the damage that does. Yeah, I'm guessing that is Scarf Gardevoir, then? Just don't want to give them rain, so I want to protect... High Horsepower the Gardevoir? High Horsepower the Arch. Paladon. High Horsepower the Arch. Paladon. Gardevoir could swap into Pelipper. No? Nothing? No? Hitting Slay King again. Okay. I got you. Get on out of here. Cool. Now if you have Pelipper last, I'm gonna give you rain. Slaking's still alive. I thought Slaking would go down after that hit with Life Orb. I mean, I don't hate that it's alive. Here's Pelly. With no weather. Do I want to turn on the weather? Okay, Tauros does great. But I need to hit Pelipper somehow. Gardevoir can't take us both, but Gardevoir could hit Slay King and then. Golden Go could take a Mystical Fire though. I'm just going to throw attacks across the board, see what happens. See what sticks. Alright, they're going to Mystical Fire Slay King. And then they're unlikely to knock out my Weezing. And we're faster than their Pelipper, that's cool. They just set Tailwind? Yeah, they don't have any attacks they can use successfully. If I bring in Tauros, they could try to Hurricane it. I bring in Golden Go. They're gonna go for Mystical Fire onto my Golden Go for sure. They're not gonna back that up with a Weather Ball. So I can take that when I set up the rain. 
And if I eliminate Pelipper, I win. So th Thunderbolt and the Pelipper. How can this go wrong? I could catch a Hurricane on the Tauros. Oh, the Gardevoir is good as gold now. Thanks for the rain. How could I have done that better? Because Hurricane would have gone into Tauros if I brought Tauros in first. I feel like I have a winning position here, and I feel like I'm not using it correctly. Wide Guard from Pelipper is perfectly okay. This Golden Go is going to take this Mystical. Oh, he didn't even send it to Golden Go. Fine. Tauros doesn't need his special attack. Goodbye, Pelly Belly. Yes, and now we can just... I wonder if Aqua Jet does it. I'm just going to click Aqua Jet to see if it's enough. I don't need to. They're, they're locked into Mystical Fire. Oh, it's so close. Okay. Well, two Aqua Jets does it. And Golden Go takes... Oh, that was closer than I thought. Was that a crit? Why did that do so much damage? There's a crit. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Carnivore. Cool set, honestly. Cool team. I can respect it. Slay King, uh... Slay King was there. Slay King high horse powered on our child on. That's pretty good. Go get a trainer card. GG. All right, we've got, okay. Okay, that's a powerful team. Salamence over the usual Dragapult. And then Electabuzz, Rillaboom, Primarina, King Gambit, Sneaslet. You'll see those six a lot, except the Salamence is a Dragapult. Golden Go doesn't feel great against King Gambit, but is otherwise solid. Slay King is only really worried about the Sneasler, but I'm very worried about the Sneasler. Letting them get grassy terrain isn't the biggest deal in the world. They're probably going to have a fake out lead, so leading a ghost isn't bad. Honestly, I got Willow? I got Willow. I think it's Will-O-Wisp, Talonflame, plus Golden Go. Lay down some big damage and bring Slay King Weezing in the back. Set Tailwind, do some big damage, burn King Gambit if it shows up, which it will. Oh, I could also do Weezing Tauros and Intimidate it. Ah, oh, but Tauros is really bad. It's bad into Salamence, it's bad into Rillaboom, it's bad into Primarina. It's even bad into Electabuzz. It's a cool trick, but it's not the right matchup for it. Intimidating King Gambit, though, would be funny. I have to hope they're not fire on King Gambit. That would be pretty bad. Um, they can also Sucker Punch. Cool card. Cool card. Sucker Punch, but if I steal Terra, that's not so big a deal. Alright. Salamence Electabuzz. Don't hate this. Do I want to Terra... My golden go here? Probably not. I probably just tailwind. Make it rain. Yeah. Uh, it can also be Shadow Ball into Salamence. Did I get intimidated? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Tailwind. The response to make it rain is going to King Gambit. I kind of like Taunt Electabuzz. Oh, this could be a throw. I'm going to Taunt Electabuzz and Shadow Ball the Salamence. I think Salamence Terra's, and I want to do more damage to it. Yeah, Salamence is terrestrializing. Into Fire. Don't love that if there's a Fire move coming my way. This is like Choice Specs Heat Wave. Not a fan. Well, it wasn't to follow me from Electabuzz, at least. Focus energy from Salamence. That I like to see. That's cool with me. 
and Electroweb. Okay, Golden Go will get slowed down. Talonflame will not. Now a big Shadow Ball into Salamence. Huge Shadow Ball into Salamence. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy to... I can Brave Bird the rest of that Salamence. I don't need to worry about Follow Me. I don't need to worry about whether a minus one Golden Go behind Tailwind can catch a Salamence. 136 times 2 over 3 times 2, 181. I am faster after Tailwind. But I'm happy to just Brave Bird that down and move my Shadow Ball over to Electabuzz. Because I can live another Electroweb, so I can delay my Tailwind another turn. If I even ever need the Tailwind. I, I just have fast Pokemon compared to some of their team. There's another Electroweb. Talonflame eats again. Crit on Golden Go. Alright, maybe I want to pull Golden Go out. Get rid of those Electroweb drops. Put up a Tailwind, come back later. Ooh, have to Electabuzz. Nice. Who else you got? Primarina. Should be able to Tailwind and go down now. And then bring in... If I bring in Weezing, Weezing taking the speed drop isn't as bad as Slaking taking the speed drop. And if it's a Hyper Voice... Honestly? Could it just be Tailwind? No, because they'll get another Electroweb off anyway. Tailwind. Bring in Weezing. Because Weezing will also weaken their Hyper Voice, since they'll no longer have Stab. So Weezing should take this double up decently. Might trigger the berry. Here's my Tailwind. Thank you, Talonflame. You're probably going now. But I'm fine with that. You've done your job. Electroweb. Goodbye, Talonflame. I salute you. Now let's hope they don't have King Gambit last. And yeah, it is Hyper Voice. Single target, though. Oh my goodness, it's a crit! Oh, they're Life Orb, too. Yeah. Well, that's about as much damage as it could have possibly done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Electabuzz is done being taunted. Slay King can hit the Electabuzz. Golden Go can hit both. I'm gonna go to Golden Go and swap in Slay King. Because I think it's time for a Terra Steel Make It Rain to just start obliterating things. And I'm gonna bring in Slay King. I, I don't wanna just protect Weezing, I wanna have a little more offensive pressure next turn. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know exactly all of the turn-based interactions between Truant and Neutralizing Gas, but I think if I swap in here, I'll get to attack once before I have to bring in Weezing. This shouldn't knock out Electro Electabuzz. They could protect Primarina here, get a special attack drop, maybe also a speed drop on my Golden Go. That's not a bad play. But one speed drop on Slaking isn't going to be enough for Primarina to catch it. Two speed drops wouldn't be enough behind Tailwind. So honestly, if Primarina protects here, I'm fine with that. I'll double edge you later. Yeah, okay. I'm totally cool with that. Probably an Electro Web from Electabuzz then. Uh, in which case, I hope this doesn't KO? I don't think it should. Oh, it does. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. Well, I hope that doesn't mess up my plan. That doesn't seem like a bad thing, by any means. It might have been a little cleaner to get a 3v1, though. Yeah, because Rillaboom comes out here, has a fake out turn. Got its grass up, but it was gonna get its grass up anyway. I, I don't really care too much about that. Two turns of tailwind. All right, we're gonna make it rain. 
and we're gonna double edge, and one of these is gonna hit Primarina. If they fake out Slay King. They should fake out Slay King. I'm gonna make it rain and double edge Primarina. I want Primarina out of here. Okay, they fake out Golden Go, that's fine. Double edge. Goodbye, Prim. I don't think that crit was needed, but I will take it. That's two crits, two turns in a row. And I was correct that Slaking got to attack that turn. It's a little scary not knowing. I should I should really Well, I mean I can only really do that through testing. Well, I'll bring in Weezing now and double edge again. This game is over though. I guess maybe you're faster than Golden Go, and you high ho have high horsepower, you get rid of Slay King here somehow. I mean, you live that at least. Woodhammer to take out Slay King, okay. That might take out your own, I have a big health bar. You might be taking out your own Rillaboom there. Yup, goodbye. Slay King takes the KO. Woo! Alright. Go Slay King. Slay King with like two KOs there. GG. And a very nice trainer card. Alright, we've got pretty cool team there. Typhlosion with no real obvious way to set Sun, so maybe it just doesn't rely on Sun. Mousehold Annihilate, Amoongus, High Dragon, and Sylveon. I gotta be honest, I love five of those Pokemon. I'll let you guess which one I don't. Uh, but it's okay. Golden Go, when Weezing isn't on the field, is immune to Spore. Gotta be careful, the, the Weezing could let them Spore my Golden Go. Golden Go isn't great into Typhlosion. Slay King isn't that great into Annihilate. Weezing's alright into Annihilate. Weezing is only bad into, like... Typhlosion. I think I need speed control then. Yeah, I think I need Talonflame and Golden Go lead. Yeah, Talonflame Golden Go can do some damage right off the bat. Maybe even try to burn the uh, Annihilate if it comes to that. And then I want Weezing Slay King. Like, if I can bait out a Terra from Annihilate, which this lead would do, then... Slay King can go in. I kind of wish I had Sucker Punch, though. Sucker Punch on Slay King would be cool here for the Typhlosion. Well, I mean, with Tailwind, I might just, I'm might i just going to be faster. I just have to win this game in four turns. Oh, cool! That's a big shiny to Dunsparce. Alright. Mousehold Annihilate! Not the worst thing in the world. If it's true Mouse Ape, they wouldn't have brought Pop Bomb against this team, I don't think. So I think it's I don't think it's a scheme. I think I need to Tailwind. Uh where do I want to put my Terra? I don't think Weezing benefits from Terra at all. Slay King is just alright with it. Talonflame doesn't need it. Maybe I taunt the mouse, Terra Steel, make it rain? I should just Tailwind. Tailwind, Terra Steel, make it rain. It's the play. Because if mouse isn't Sash, they're not going to be able to get a beat up. If I can just eliminate mouse right here, they won't be able to beat up their Annihilate. They're going to Terra. Must be the Annihilate if they're Terraing after Golden Go. Show me not fire. Ah, come on! <laughs> uh, so this is Protect Mouse, maybe? Sash Mouse, maybe? It's not Protect Mouse. Okay, that's fine. If you're not protecting the mouse, I'm happy. As long as you're not Sash, I can just get rid of Mouse. 
Yeah. Decent damage on the 8 too. Like, not a lot. I assume you're gonna run leftovers. And Rage Fist into Talonflame at 100 power. We take that. Oh, we take that easily. No leftovers, though. Okay. We have Tailwind up. Here's Typhlosion. And you're gonna know I'm Specs! Oh no! I need to deal damage to Typhlosion with Brave Bird. Maybe a minus one make it rain plus Brave Bird takes it. Yeah, because Slate King can deal with Annihilate now that it's Terra. Come on, Talonflame, show me good attack investment. That's none attack investment. All right, well, Brave Bird plus Make It Rain has to take out this Typhlosion. Oh, they could just protect Typhlosion if they have it, but it's often choice. It's kind of weird to bring it in here. Like, I like how well I took that Rage Fist, but I don't like how little damage that Brave Bird did. And the next Rage Fist is definitely going to take out my Talonflame. Oh, we leave Typhlosion on one. Show me Eruption. You're not going to erupt here. You're going to Heat Wave, Flamethrower. Citrus Berry Ape. Okay, well. I was hoping for, like, Goggles. Oh, it is Eruption. Throw. <laughs> Two damage to the super effective Golden Go. And just take out Talonflame, please. Oh, thanks. Love that. Time to bring in Slay King and do some damage. Alright, your switch ins now. I mean, by Make It Rain's minus two. Got two turns of Tailwind left. I should double edge the Annihilate. You're not gonna be able to switch out of that. And I mean, they're in. They're, they're not Blaze. Yeah, I, I find it hard to believe that you would lock Eruption there. Maybe you're like Scarf? I need to cover for them not being choice. So I need to click Make It Rain as well. Okay, no, they were just choice. <laughs> Got it. Good to know. Good to know. They are definitely choice type lotion. And then High Dragon coming. A minus two Make It Rain will do some damage to that. I do not hate that. Goodbye, Ape. Thank you, Slay King, for being so strong. And then a single, yeah, single target. Minus two Steel Terra Maker Rain. This is going to do fine damage. Oh, that's beautiful damage. Oh my goodness. I could just click it again. I'm not even going to swap my Slay King. I'm going to let it truant. Yeah, use my last turn of Tailwind with Golden Go. Protect Slay King. Well, it doesn't matter what Slay King does. He's going to Truant. And make it rain again. Yep. <laughs> okay, Golden Go. Get on out of here. Uh, Slay King did take care of the thing that Golden Go couldn't. Oh, double crit. <laughs> you didn't need that crit. Minus three would have been plenty, Golden Go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's definitely go. Oh my goodness. GG. You got a good trainer card at least. Alright, here we are. Ooh, Indeedee Armor Rouge, Lily Cole, Blood Moon Ursaluna, and Dragonite. They are gonna have a hard time with neutralizing gas. They really like their abilities over there to set sun and set psychic terrain. So wheezing is the way. It doesn't necessarily have to be Weezing Slaking. Though Weezing Slaking ain't bad. Specs Golden Go as Elite ain't bad. Um. Dragapult, Max Attack, Adamant. Ooh. I'm a little worried about Indeedee. I kind of want something that can. 
I want spread moves, but like, make it rain isn't gonna hit Armor Rouge or Torkoal. I guess Slaking is fine. Blow up in DD. And then try to taunt Armor Rouge, because I think Terra Normal Double Edged Life Orb should take in DD. Maybe? And then we can taunt the other guy. Yeah, I think that works. I kind of like Dragapult, just in case, like, the bear comes in and we have Weezing and they try to Hyper Voice. Uh, I guess Golden Go is fine for that, too. And then a Resistance. How about Tauros? Tauros can hit a lot of their team. Like, it was between Tauros and, like, Dragapult. They're both fine. Ooh, pretty Nine Tails. All right, what you got, what you got, what you got? Dragonite and a bear. Okay. Hello, bear. Steel Terra's not gonna help me from an Earth Power. Could be Protect Weezing, knock off the Ursaluna into like a double edge next turn, and then burn the Dragonite. I don't hate that. I, I feel like Protect Weezing is almost too obvious, and I don't need to go for it, so this might be a throw. But I'm hoping they just target Weezing. There's my knockoff. Good damage. Got rid of your life orb. So even if, even if you uh, did attack me, you're not gonna. Oh, it's Tailwind Dragonite. Okay, that's cool. And it was Hyper Voice. Okay. Big damage into Slay King. Don't love that. All right. So why not just Hyper Voice again? It's probably what you should do. I'm gonna call that Burn the Dragonite Protect. Yeah, just trying to stall out this uh, Tailwind. It could read this in Earth Power, but I feel like Hyper Voice is just the play. There's Scale Shot. Oh, it must be. It could be Blood Moon. Blood Moon could be the play. No, it's Earth Power without Life Orb. We don't take it? Oh boy. Bye, Weezing. Gotta be Tauros, mostly because just we have Protect. Oh boy. Uh, Multi-scale on Dragonite, good to know. Slaking can't do anything this turn. Tailwind for two more turns. I could Protect Tauros here. Let Slaking go. No. I can protect Tauros here. Bring in Golden Go pretty safely. Because, like, normal and dragon moves aren't going to do too much to Golden Go. Then the turn after, sacrifice Slay King, get Golden Go back in, break the multi scale. Scale shot into Tauros. Okay. And a Hyper Voice. Perfect. I, I, I gotta be honest, I'm in a bad position. Uh, I'm gonna Aqua Jet the Dragonite and try to sacrifice Slay King here on the last turn of Tailwind. One way or another, Golden Go should be able to come back in, but... I, Golden Go probably can't win this game. I, th I think I've lost already. Turn one Tailwind, calling my Weezing Protect was too much. Scale Shot does very little, if I'm being honest. A 
wonder if I can take this hit from the Ursa Luna. It's just Hyper Voice. Slaking doesn't take it, but Tauros does. So now, what does Dragonite just make? Uh, just uh, extreme speed me? Probably. I need to protect then. Steel Terra, make it rain. And then how do I win? Make it rain is enough for whoever they have in the back. I'm not going to be able to pick up Dragonite without Steel Terra, most likely. So I need to click all of these buttons. It's not completely over. Because Tauros lived on three, it's not completely over. Without Tauros, I think this is completely over. With Tauros, it really depends what they have left. I still don't see how I'm going to get it. They are faster than my Golden Co. Oh no. Well. Cool. <laughs> this was certainly one of the games of all time. Maybe even one of the games in this video. Who's to say? I'm to say. I might cut it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cut it. Uh, GG's to my opponent. They, I couldn't even get past your lead. And you got a good trainer card. Respect. And we are back. Slay King did great. Golden Go did really, really great. But Slay King did great. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. There's a rental code for you if you want to try it yourself. And uh, anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace.